Okay, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking um, an Adobe Flash project and we're going to create three scenes and then link to those scenes. So it's very, very, very simple. As you can see here, I can go from scene one to scene three or scene two and vice versa. Uh, it's going to be pretty easy to do, so let's get started. Um, when you open up Adobe Flash, we're going to create a new project and we're going to do it with ActionScript 2.0. This is obviously different from 3.0. Uh, and for what we're doing with a simple one like this, 2.0, I think works better. Um, so go ahead and do that. Once we're on to our stage, what we're going to do is we're going to create a symbol, anything you want. Um, I'm just going to make a rectangle here. Well, hold on here. Let me switch over to the rectangle tool. I mean a circle. And, um, and now I'm going to make it into um, a symbol. But when you make it into a symbol, you have some choices here. You can make it a movie clip a button or a graphic. So right click, convert to symbol, and this is very important. It must be a button and it'll say type up there and make sure that it says button because if not, this is not going to work. So I've made it a button, I click OK, and that's it. Pretty simple, right? Let's go ahead and add a scene. So when we click on this button, it'll actually go someplace. So I'm going to come up to insert and at the very bottom there is scene and I'm going to insert a scene. Now when you do it, the workspace or the stage as they call it is going to go completely blank but don't worry nothing's been deleted. As you'll see up in the left hand corner it says that we're in scene 2 and if we want to go back to scene 1 we just click on that little icon there, that button and we can select scene 1 and you can see my circle is back and so there you go. So everything is okay. So now I'm here in scene 2. I'm going to make another um, shape and this time I'll make it a rectangle just to make it different so we know when we switch and uh, there it is and it, I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to convert it to a symbol and make sure that it is a button. Okay, so right click, convert to symbol, there it is. Now that it's uh, now that both of my symbols are buttons, I'm going to come back here to scene one, and it's time to add some action script. This is very important. Make sure you select the symbol before you add the action script. Once you've selected your symbol, go to Window and come down here to Actions. Click on that, and you're going to get this. Now the script we're writing is very short, but it must be exactly as you see it. If you change it, like put the wrong type of bracket or make a letter capital that shouldn't be capital, the script will not work. So I'll type it out here and then I'll zoom in and I'll let you get a nice good look at it. Uh, pause the video if you feel you need to. There's, you know, and I'll explain everything um, once I zoom in. So it says on and then in brackets release. That's releasing the mouse. Go to and play scene two and the one stands for frame one. Now you need all those brackets and if it's capital, make it capital. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close it here. And now I am going to come and go to scene two and repeat the same thing. I'm gonna click it, go to window, actions and again on release the word release in brackets no space put a squiggly bracket hit enter go to and play the word and is capital the a and the word play the p is capital brackets quotation marks scene space one quotation marks comma one so it's going to go to scene one frame one. Again, it has to be exactly like this or it's not going to work. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out here now that you've had a chance to take a look at that. And let's give it a test. Now this is not going to work, but if you've written this so far and then you hit control and enter or command and enter, it should do this, which means it's working. It's looping through the, the code. Um, what we need to do 
is we need to put a stop in someplace. Okay, now that we're back in scene one, I'm going to create a new layer. And to do that, you can't see it on the screen, but it's in the bottom left hand corner. And now I'm going to go ahead and label my layer. So the layer with a circle on it, I'm going to call circle. And the other layer I'm going to call stop. I'm not going to add anything to this except for action script. So make sure you're on the stop layer. Go up to window and actions. And then you're just going to type stop, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon. That's all you have to do. What that'll do is when it plays and it gets to this scene, it's not going to do anything. It's going to stop. And you'll see it. Well, here, I'm going to test it here for you. Hey, so, but I, because I don't have stop on scene two, it just goes right back to scene one. So guess what we're doing? We're going to go to scene two and we're going to add the stop layer. So I'm going to rename this layer rectangle, add a new layer, call it stop. Make sure, again, make sure you're on the stop layer and that nothing is selected. Go to window and actions, stop. Open bracket, close bracket, semicolon, close it. And when I play it, surprise, surprise, everything is working. So what you have to do is do that very same thing, but with three scenes and where they're all linked together. Okay, good luck.